All right, welcome to Triage for the WIS meeting online number three. Uh, today's 2013, so off we go to the internet. Let's go show the website. Don't need the PowerPoint. All right, here we go. Off to bugs. Hopefully everybody can see uh, the bugs. This is our open issues right now. We have 23 um, in that are open total. It looks like we have a few in here that are 3.8 that maybe we'll go back and talk about one of these days um, based on what Bob said in the earlier meeting earlier about our focus on um, Visual Studio's 2013 support. But right now, let's go ahead and jump in all in triage just to keep things rolling. Cannot install. Um, by the way, Bob, you're still doing um, scribe work for us? I am. All right, sweet. All right, here we go. Cannot install to map drive. Uh, that's yeah, this, true. Windows installer doesn't support that. Right. Yeah, okay, That. good. Look, a perfect example of a bug we can resolve external unless we want to go name it something else. Um, yeah, Windows installer just doesn't support that. Yeah, and, and subs doesn't work well in the Windows installer. It it gets all kinds of confused. It, well, subs is for user. It, yeah, I think that's what screws up MSI. It, it's a long. It's it's a very old issue that they never made it work. A reg hack can make it work. Oh, okay, fine. Someone can go do that. I'm not worried about that. So Windows 8 start only created for the admin user, although per machine. Start when uh yeah you can't pin by default. Raymond Chen would be very upset to know that you would be doing that. Right. So I think this is expected as well, um, unless we force pinning. Um, there are those extra shortcut properties you can set to control how it gets highlighted and stuff like that. Um, so I think that's this. this isn't a bug. This is a yeah, right. Common about external. I agree with Blair that that this is an external bug. Cool. Bundle element chum incorrect link. Is this another doc thing? Yes. How to issue maybe related to four oh nine eight. Uh, cool. Blair, you left a comment here. Um, is this link already, do we need to keep this bug open or can we resolve a dupe of 4098 and just fix 4098 and get all the bugs? Do we need this one in addition to the ones that were found in 4098? All right, Blair, if you have multiple things, I'm just going to unmute you. If you have, do you have audio, Blair? Maybe not. Um, so, yeah, okay, no mic problem. All right. Well, then, so real quick, do we need to keep this bug to fix this doc issue? Because I'm not, the schemas don't resolve to URLs because we're never going to get our schemas hosted at schemas.microsoft.com. Um, in Wix 4, I fixed this, but in Wix 3, we can't change the schemas, so that's never going to get fixed. Um, and then it, the rest of this is just the doc bug. All right, fine. We'll we'll keep this bug open and we'll fix the doc based office. But this is just a doc issue. So I suppose wixtoolset.org as an area is reasonable. Dependencies records are removed from WXP. I assume that's Windows XP. Sorry, read really? it. Oh, this is fascinating. We always wondered if putting them in that reg key would create us problems later. Um, we should keep this bug, but I don't think that we have to fix it in 3.8. I mean, it, it's already, yeah, it's shipped in 3.6 and 3.7, so we're not going to fix it in 3.8. At a certain level, we may just have to live with this bug and wait for Windows XP to go out of service. Moving those reg keys would be very, very challenging because I'm pretty sure we can't do it in a backwards compatible way. So I vote that we move this open and leave it in 3x and we can evaluate it in the future. But, Or we could just say, 
we can't move them now and we're going to wait for Windows XP to go out of service. I think that's the only two things we can do with this bug. Anybody have a vote? If you're happy with the with the understanding that you have of it, then I'm good. Well, it doesn't surprise me that there is some point at which this key gets whacked. That I mean, we always wondered if that would happen. And I, if this is Windows XP only, that makes sense that we would have missed that, especially with a new user logon. All of that makes it hard. And Windows XP is out of service shortly, which means it's just going to be a anybody running it is a menace to the internet. So, um, you, I, you mean that third of the population? Yeah, I I don't know what to do about them, but yes, them. They may be silent menaces, but they're, they're it's not going to be good. It's it's going to be Windows pre XPSP two all over again. Um, all right. Too much noise on the mic there. So, um, so I just joined unmuted. All right, there we go. All right. So, uh, Win 2K, yeah, they're way out of bounds. Uh, so, known issue. I have votes for known issue on Windows XP. I don't think we can move these anyway without big, crazy problems. Any concern about uh, other OSs? Um, no, I would have thought we'd seen them by now, but we could go run them down on Vista. Um, that'd be the only one. I, I'm pretty certain this is going to work on Windows. Uh, only on XP. All right. I, okay. Let tell you what. Let's leave it open, and we can have someone look at it. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Works so, for me. But not 3.8. Yeah, I agree. Torch transform feature. Torch transforms from Wix out. This would be kind of cool. Of course, it doesn't work, but that's what the feature's about. Um, yeah, it's, it's not exactly a linker feature. It's a torch feature. Probably is, there's no torch in the dropdown yet. Um... Yeah, I think this is reasonable, and it should be able to be done in 3x, I think, with doing it back in a compatible way. So it seems reasonable to keep it in 3x. Anybody disagree that we should move this to 4x? Going, going. Blair says it's Blair's typing a message. All right, so nobody sees any reason to move it to 4X, then I think we'll keep it 3X. So we can just mark this as open, Bob? Done. It stumbles over DLL files. Okay. Oh, lots of output. Um, there's an error dialog. Okay, with an okay. Oh, this is... Oh, this is probably like a DLL cannot find its dependencies and throw it's throwing some message. We try to suppress them all. Yeah, that that confused me. Um, but I don't think we can get them all. I think there are still dialogues that the Windows can decide that it wants to show. A dynamic link library initialization routine field. Yeah, which usually means that the DLL can't find something that it needs to even be loaded, which is not unusual when using heat because you are you may not have everything installed in the correct place where this DLL has to be to work. Um, Uh, so I say we uh, move this, we kill this bug off and suggest that we have a conversation on Wix users until we figure out that this is actually something that we could do more of. But I, I'm, I, I, my expectation is that we can't do anything with this because we've suppressed as many dialogues as we can from the operating system. Thoughts? Uh, you want to keep the bug open? Yeah, I'm thinking keep the bug open. There's a link to the files in question, which is no, that's reasonable. Generally, right? Yeah, generally more than we get. So all right, you're right. We'll reward them for their nice bug opening behavior, and they did give us a nice format. That's actually nice and easy to read. So yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Well, congratulations. Someone demonstrated a very good way to open a bug, and they've been rewarded for it. Another feature: add hyper image element. 
combination of image and hypertext. Ooh, sounds so cool. Uh, place an image on the theme that could open a hyperlink. I'm, I think that's a great feature. We yep. totally should have a way to make a image a, but let's just open it as, yeah, cool. This is filed. Uh, it's not actually burn. It's actually with standard VA, but I don't know that we have a with standard VA area. Um, technically de -util. Uh, te uh, technically de -util. So, all right. So this seems like a reasonable thing to go about doing. Yep, agreed. All right, cool. Alpha transparency. This, I think, is fixed in 3.8. I thought I fixed this in 3.8. I at least took a run at this. Um, but they say it's, well, and it's hard to tell if they tested in 3.8 or not. Um, this is a case where it'd be really cool if we added a comment and the system automatically sent mail to the opener. I, I know. I need to fix that feature. Um, um, so we're not going to fix this in 3.8. So let's put it in 3x. Let's open it, and we should run it down. Um, if this doesn't work, I would love for this to work. It, it, it's supposed to work. Let's just say that. So it's definitely a bug. Yep. All right. So and it would be great if they could provide a little more detail or could provide more detail. All right. C++ definitions in WCU to prevent compiling in C. Oh. Um, yeah, we should, I'm happy if we fix this. Great, they have a patch. Why don't, it would be great if they could open a, a, a pull request. Pull request, thank you, that. So, yeah, I mean, we'll take, I wouldn't take it in 3.8, we'd take it in 3x. Agreed. Right. We'll take it in 3.8 if they get it in, in, in time and it looks safe, but. Yep. So why don't we say that? You know, we would take this, let's put it in 3x, say we would take it in 3.8 if you can get the pull request to us soon enough. Otherwise, I think we should totally fix this. I see Neil's typing something. Um, more info required. That That's an interesting idea, Neil. Maybe there's a feature here where it's like we need more information. Um, yeah, in the last bug, yeah. That's an, that's an interesting thing. I'll think about that. That's a good suggestion. We're going to get this workflow so that this issue tracker is perfect for us and it does exactly what we need. All right, so you got that, Bob? I do. All right. This works so much better with someone else typing than instead of me. Um, we should have SLSI instead of SLSL. So this is a doc bug? Um, this, yes, yes. Sweet. Oh, it's a code bug too? Belair says it's a code bug as well. So um, it looks like a good bug. We should fix this in 3x, and we would take it in 3.8 if it got there, although it's with toolset.org, so we'll take it whatever build the fix comes in. Agreed? Although, yeah, sorry, I was just thinking. <laughs> break the loc. I wonder, did we get the loc ID wrong on this, so the culture will change? That's, I thought, I thought the um, the culture in the Wixel was correct. All right. Well, tell you what, we should fix this no matter what and do the right thing, because I'm pretty sure the Slovenian people that understand the Slovenian culture are just laughing at us right now because we don't know. So let's go fix that. But we don't have to hold 3.8 for it, so I'd put it in 3x. Yeah, agreed. Either tutorial's wrong or bug causes shortcuts to point to repair operation. Huh? I, wish I, had, I wonder if I want the auto-linking. I don't know. If it's our own website, I want the auto-link. No, shortcut, shortcut, shortcut. Oh, who did this? This is not the right way to set up a shortcut. Oh, that's all right. I'm taking this bug. I'm fixing this. Yeah, but I, Blair mentions that if you change your directory on repair, lots of things can get broken. But or oh, just on initial install. All right, I, I'm fixing this. This is the wrong way to do this. I don't know who wrote that. I'm gonna go. S I will, Bob, can you give that one to me? Sure. And I will fix it post-sap. XML config attributes in a condition, null component still get added. Oh, that's not right. That's not right. 
um, that's Wix 3.6. Well, if it's in Wix 3.6, then we'll, it'll live in 3x. We should definitely fix this if it's true. So I think we should mark this as open. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if this really happens, that's not right. Certainly not the way it's supposed to work. Although it's kind of not great that he's got his key path as a directory. But that's going to be fine because the condition is fine. Yeah, this, that's not right. We'll need to, the verbose log file would help. Oh, they say the actions listed during have null. Null. That's weird. Oh no, that's the condition being null. Yeah. Uh, that should be that should be right. All right. Well, that's not good. That bug should get fixed. .NET package group does not install as expected. Okay. Custom BA chain followed whatever that said difference he changed the download URL okay canceling the installation and restarting the custom VA seems to have issues step one start the custom VA without .NET accept it cancel before it continues restart the custom VA I assume they mean custom bundle yes accept the EULA do not cancel .NET installation says it failed However, it was successful and goes on to the things. Well, that's pretty trippy. Yeah. So Sean says he looked into this. So Sean, are you saying you couldn't reproduce the problem? Could not reproduce the problem. Um, based on that, Sean, could we resolve this as no repro and ask them for more detail um, to reopen the issue based on you feel comfortable saying that? So if we said Sean says he tried it and it didn't work, for or it worked for him, you good with that? I'm good with that. Yeah, I agree. I remember this issue on Stack Overflow. Awesome. I'm way behind on Stack Overflow. I have over 600, message, 600 questions that I am behind on <laughs> answering. All right, Bob. So you could say that, you know, that triage, you know, did not repo. Con con congratulations, Sean. You just got promoted to be calling triage, uh, called triage. So let's say triage said we don't reproduce this issue. If they can provide more information on how to repro it, we please reopen the bug. Cool? Got it? That's good. All right. Onward. We're going to get through this yet. Hey, Lux. Trying to do the Lux example. Did these commands. Did that. Installation package could not be opened. Yeah, I looked at this one. Um, I believe the Lux custom actions are actually written in C-sharp, and I think we need to do more to tweak them so that they're comfortable running on .NET 4 only. I see. So this is a real bug. Uh, I believe so. I didn't, I didn't, repro I didn't okay. try to repro it. But, but you went far enough to agree that this is probably a bug. Yep. And Blair makes a good point. Anytime you open a bug, you should give us logs. Like that other guy did that got his bug saved because he did a very right. nice job. Links and documentation broken. Um, yeah, we should fix this. <laughs> we should just fix this. Um, some, and broken links in the Wix 3x manual. Oh, well done. Thank you. Nice. Yes, all those pages. We should fix those too. <laughs> Um, but we can put them in 3x and fix them at any point. Light throws exception if access to the MSI is denied. Oh. During light, we build, gotten these errors sporadically. Build issues with XP. XP, wow. Again, XP. And now server fails. All right. Not only is it, it pops an error that waits to be dismissed. Nothing should be throwing an error message. We don't display error messages. Wait, error messages or exceptions? Error, error box. Well, I mean, sorry, we oh. don't display error boxes. Right. That's not right. Uh, what do we have? Any? We don't have any information about the box, the error box that's coming up. Exited with that. Path to that is denied. Um. No, I don't think Wix 3.7 Wix shipped as debug. I, I didn't think that was true. 
because it's, it's signed. Blair is saying that you know Wix three seven shipped debug code, but I'm not sure. Oh. File attributes. So we're oh 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 recursive common recursive file attributes. That actually kicks into Winterop. Oh right. Uh, Blair, yeah, we didn't use the SLN files to build uh, the debug bits. They're, it's all proj files, so the solution file shouldn't have created debug bits. Um, so this must have been in Winterop. So because that's the recursive file attribute thing is done in Winterop, if I remember correctly, because it resets all the ACLs and everything. Right. Um. um Oh wait, no, this is delete temp files. Sorry, I'm reading this wrong. Validator, common delete temp files, recursive file attributes. So maybe this isn't in Winthrop. No, okay, uh, I I don't, I'd like to see the error dot. Can, can, let's, uh, do we open it for that? I guess we open it and ask for the error box. This is where Neil's suggestion of we need more information is important. Yes. Um, and your suggestion that we need to send email to these people is important too. So, um, I actually like Neil's suggestion because maybe with that I can will continually send mail to the people saying you have a bug open that's requested for more information, mm -hmm. and it will just send you more and more mail until finally you answer it. Um, so anyway, let's ask for what that error pop up error box is. Um, I, this unhandled exception is not great. I mean, we should fix that too. But the error dialog is really bad. Um, so let's let's open this and follow it up. But again, we'll do it in 3x. It's not good though that error pop-ups coming up. Failure is one thing. A pop-up's not good. Yeah, we don't want to block a build. No, 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 no. All right, feature to post WM query messages to primary thread. Seriously, is this a good thing to do? Um, WM quit is isn't that one of the magic messages? It is. It is. I mean, it's a complete thing to do, but what they're saying is go find the primary thread of an application and send WM quit to it. The assumption being that the primary thread is where the message pump is at. Right. Which is... But that's an yeah, assumption. Yeah, that's an assumption, right. So you, at a certain level, you could just go send WM quit to all threads and then see what happens, but you're doing really strange things. It's like, here, let me just blow up all your message threads um, from the outside. Um, I have no idea. Like, I, I guess you could do that if you know that's what the app expects. Uh, what would that do to burn? Because in burn, you, the main thread would be the engine thread, which would post to quit. So you'd basically force the burn engine to, you basically do an on shutdown for the app. So the app would get a shutdown, say, you've been shut down. The app would be, uh, the BA would be surprised by that. True. But it would work. I mean, it would, it would kind of do what you expected it to do. It's kind of a weird, but maybe some apps expect this. Like that's the way they're told to shut down. Uh, something windowless. Yeah. So I'm with Neil. Yeah. Neil says let's get a use case. So let's go ahead and add a comment. Move it to three X. Um, and uh, and mark it open. Yeah, I'm I, don't okay with that. I don't want to triage it again. Again, Neil's suggestion of being able to mark a bug saying need more information has turned out to be really good because I really want to send mail to these people, although they may just abandon their email address and never come back to us again. But <laughs> Anything to avoid. Anything to avoid mail from the issue tracker. <laughs> um, cab cache sharing validation run on AMS build. That's not right. Concurrent builds. Media cabs might being locked and sharing violation. Are they using the same? Uh, uh, oh, cheapers! Wow, lots of information here. Almost indented, right, for the whole thing. Uh, this is too much. Too much noise from their system. Holy cow! This bug is ginormous. Lots of warnings. Thank you for sending all the issues in your thing. Oh, it's all. VC. Wow, look at all that noise. It's not a font. Oh, jeepers. All right, whatever. Let me just go to the end. Okay. Uh, 
oh, this bug. I remember this now. Yeah, you can't share cab caches across MSIs to a common location. Yeah, you can't do that. So, cab caches per project. Cache caches is per per MSI. Yeah, like the default location of the cab cache is in your in, in your um, intermediate folder, which means it's not. Although I guess you could centralize your intermediate folder, then you'd run into that problem. But yeah, cab cache needs to be per MSI because the cab names be the same, right? Because if you end up with cab one, cab two, cab three, and you have a whole bunch of MSIs that share that, oh, all things are going to break out. Um, so yeah, I. I left a comment here that said the right thing. Um, cab caches aren't. This is this isn't a supported scenario. So the best we could do is maybe throw a better error message. I guess that's this fix. So let's leave a comment that the fix here is to have a better error message when using cab cache and such like that. Right. Sound that good. Works. That works. Well, um, I, th th I guess I'm picturing a use case of of uh, building x86 and x64 packages that are basically the same except for, for a few differences. And that's where I can see wanting the cab cache to work across projects. Granted, it doesn't, but I can see the, the it would be nice if it did. All right, well, we can, we can open it. Um, it's not, it's going to be tricky. Well, yeah, and sharing cabinets is, Sharing cab caches across MSIs is really dangerous unless you know the MSIs are all named differently. But fair enough, we can at least a better error message. So I, I mean, at least a better error message because this error message isn't great. It doesn't tell you what's going wrong. So it needs to tell you. While using the cab cache, we found that these two cabs are being used at the same time. Die. Although you know, honestly, we could handle it too, probably. So all right, cool. Um, we'll open it and we'll go look at it. Burn hangs when display internal UIS package shows a message. Set up hang on the. M Ooh, okay. So the calling MSI process message, it's the right way to show a message box. Yeah. That was my first check. Yeah. Oh, you looked at this too. And then they're running it. Oh, right. Okay, fine. Okay, they provided. They say it works in it works in three seven, but not in three eight. I don't know why this would change. There's been nothing that would change that that I know of. My bet is that there's the message. Oh, it would have to be some sort of windowing thing getting stuck while some message pump getting stuck, or the message is going to the wrong place. <sighs> um. Yeah, I, I suppose we'll. They say this works in three seven. I don't know why this would not work in. I don't know why this would work in three seven and not three eight. There have been so few changes. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to take the question. So Jacob says, you know, look log file and try to repro it. Which the repro is, you know. It's right there. You just have to go create a custom action that does that. Um, the the question is, do we put it in three eight, based off of three seven, based uh, off of I'm, being a regression in three seven? It, but it's a rare case. Like this is a sketchy thing to do anyway, because showing messages. We've had all these hangs in the welcome dialog in the past, right? Where the welcome dialog gets stuck. Remember those? No, actually. Remember that behavior the Windows installer would get stuck on the welcome dialog and never proceed? Well, there was the waiting for costing issue. Oh, yeah, the waiting, that's it, the waiting for costing issue. Okay, yeah, that one I remember. Yeah, it would just get stuck, and you'd never get anywhere. I say we put it in 3x. I, I, unless someone... Yeah. With, without, well, I mean, without more, um, I don't know. Same thing. I, I'd like to understand it. Once we understand, you know, it's like, oh, okay, this this is a real thing. Then we can make the call whether it's, you know. All right. So, does anybody in the peanut gallery want to take this bug to figure out if we need to take it three eight, which means take a look at it in the next week or so, two or something like that, 
Anybody out there willing to do that? Go try to repro this problem. It's all here. Mm. Quiet there. <laughs> I say we open it in 3x, unless someone wants to vote otherwise. Yeah, um, that, that's my, my Anybody else want to vote the other way? And he can always argue. He can always retriage the or open the book for triage. Or we can revisit it if necessary. I just I, I don't know what would have changed from three seven three to cause this behavior to be different. All right, let's do that. We're not getting anything anywhere. Wix variable is empty. Uh, Bob funny. has changed this a lot. Open, untriage, untriage, open. Oh, I was messing with it. Um, Bob gave it to himself. Bob moved it to MS Build to Installer. Bob put it back to nobody. Oh, it's Blair's fault. Blair's could, Blair open couldn't repo. Untriage. I, yeah, I can't repro this either. I actually have a 3.8 machine. This works for me. Okay. I, I just, I looked this morning, actually. So I, that works for me. Done. Please resolve this bug. So Blair, can you resolve this bug? You should be able to resolve this bug, right? Um, please resolve this as fixed. By the way, Blair, it looks very weird that your Wix support instead of something Blair. <laughs> it looks funny. Um, blame Codeplex. Okay. I don't understand what Codeplex has to do with it, but all right. Um, all right, so... Uh, that means this should get resolved, should be marked as all that. Okay. All right, cool. Session manage C sharp retry cool shows cancel incorrect texts. Really? This is cool. If the C succeeds, the error occurs in both custom. What the heck? Wow. Uh, oh, this is in 4.0. Um, I oh, wonder this is actually in a 4.0 bug. Um, like they're trying to use 4.0 for something and something screwy in the 4.0 build. Um, 4X? Interesting. Or, or 3X. <laughs> this is just crazy. Or does it really happen? Is it not some weird corruption in the world? All right. Uh, yeah, you got me. I'm. I mean, the as I recall, the, I I had looked at at this DTF code before. As I recall, it's a pretty straightforward mapping. Yeah, I would think. I don't know why it would change. Right. Uh, called, yeah. You want to put it in three X just to make sure. Sure. Right. Oh yeah, that's what Blair said too. Put it in three X and we'll we'll put it in open and yeah, um, someone can have fun with that. <laughs> I don't I don't use DTF so whatever. That's nice. <laughs> I use IS web filter, run this. I'd like to set a precondition runtime bitness. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we should totally do that feature. Uh, we can put it in 3x because it's a non breaking change. It's just an add, it shouldn't be a breaking change. That works. Sweet. Use of tag breaks incremental build. Um, this is actually true, and I tracked this down. Um, I, I was actually looking at something else where the increment build is busted. Um, and it turns out we're going to need a decent amount of rejiggering to make this work. So I'm, I would say that we move this to 4.0, believe it or not, because the problem is the, um, there isn't enough in the binder today to provide the information to say which set of files are generated versus non-generated and stuff like that. So we need to change the way the MS build cleanup stuff works. So this all, the incremental actually works as long as you don't clear your temp between builds. But if oh. you clean your temp between builds, then you'll have this problem. And that's why we don't see it. In fact, the unit test that I wrote doesn't hit this because it doesn't delete temp in between builds. Um, I had to like go figure out. I, I was trying to get this to repro when I was doing some of that, and that's how I hit this. And I forgot to update the bug. So um, to, to fix it, though, requires changing things in the binder 
to do that. Um, and it only happens if you clear temp. So that's why I, I suggest we just move it to, to 4. Um, as something well, 4 that or 4x? 4 4o, because it's actually a thing that I, I'm looking at fixing in 4o anyway. OK. Does that sound reasonable? Uh, works for me. Yeah. So it, it's a <laughs> fun little thing. And actually, this is true for all the things that output to temp, that generate code to temp. So for the binary Wix libs, it does the same thing. And merge modules, I think, are the same, too. They oh, work yes. as long as you don't modify, uh, if, as long as you don't delete temp between builds. Because they actually go to a, a consistent path, but... Well, actually, no, it's just because they're still there, it works out fine. Okay. Because it finds them there still, it does the right thing. Right. That's funny. Yeah, it's, it's, it's funny. It's a, it's a weakness in the clean code. That's yeah. What it comes down to. And unfortunately, it's really deep, and the clean code was done in a way such that it would fit with three and not break things. This requires a lot more changes to the binder to make it work. Dude, we're getting the second page. Oh, it's 1031. So there, we got through one page. I forgot how many are per page. I think it's 25. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good run. Do we get to new bugs? Yeah, this bug, I we two months ago. Really? Two months ago? Yeah. Yeah, we're back into source storage bugs now. All right. So what do we start with over here? Cannot uninstall whatever. <laughs> All right. Um, cool. So we're on to um, three months ago bugs, which will be great. Um, so I think that's what we'll pick up tomorrow. Oh, yeah, look. We're already down. Oh, yeah, but of course you've modified some, so what page am I on now? Page one. There we go. So you haven't got all of them yet. Cool. So um, this is what we'll pick up next week. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, fantastic bit of triaging there. Good meeting. Good meeting. Go team. Um, I, I think one of the things that Bob pointed out is that uh, we could use more people developing on the Wix tool set um, in all kinds of places. So um, come join us. Come come have some fun. Let's get more things done in the Wix tool set. Um, I know Mike has Mike Carlson has been doing some fun stuff that we'll talk about soon. But it's in four. Um, I've had to fix. I've shifted most of my focus to four. But it'd be nice to have some people in around in three X and stuff to help move it forward. So it's make lonely now. Go away. <laughs> yeah, Bob's feeling a little lonely. But we're not going to leave you alone completely, Bob. But anyway, Thank you. so uh, jump on in. Oh, you know, to be fair, Blair has sent a number of bug fixes in in the last. Oh, you days know, we've too, gotten so. we've gotten some some nice contributions. Not yeah. complaining. No, it's not. Although, complaining. It'd just be like if you need to. It feels me like it used to feel more like a party when there was a whole bunch of people doing stuff, and it's not quite yeah. been a party yet. Yeah, you're right, Blair. All your stuff has been 3x, so it just doesn't quite feel like a party. It feels like you know, still a small group of people chatting. And the other the, the the other party aspect I think is when you have enough people, everyone kind of doesn't mind to work on bugs, whereas a lot of people are focusing on the features that they want, which is completely fair, and that's how you know everyone gets their start. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice if we had more people who could work on the bugs. So far, I think we're we're fine for three eight because I think you know we haven't introduced a lot of bugs and we've been pretty steady. That's um, true. But, um, yeah, it, it'd be nice to have more people around to say, yeah, sure, I'll work on that. All right. It's a well, compiler maybe, bug. It's easy. Yeah, so Blair brought up the whole conference room when when Wix used to be all Microsoft-type people that could meet in one room on a particular night about recreating that Internet. So I am happy. So, so we'll take this to Wix devs where we can have an ongoing conversation and not have everybody sit on a phone call being recorded. But, uh, you know, I, I'll send a mail out to Wix devs and say, if there's another time, because um, I still am working on Thursday nights on Wix Toolset, and I'm happy to turn on the internet meeting if there were people that wanted to get together on where are Thursday nights for me, which I have no idea what time zone that is for the rest of the world. But you know, if people want to join in, um, I could try to turn up my music so you can hear it through the mic. Although the mic noise canceling is pretty good here. So um, anyway, if if you have ideas, things like that, things that you think are, you know make Wix working on Wix more fun, because um, that certainly is what the way that we've done it, despite threads that might go on on Wix users that upset me. Um, it is mostly fun. Um, and you know, going out and just you know making it better, it is just good stuff. So on that note, 
we're having a good time. I appreciate all you guys dropping in, helping us uh, triage these bugs, especially those of you that gave us input to help us even. Sean, you know, gave us bugs that I've already tried to repro this and it didn't, so that's great. Um, anything else you guys have? We'd love, we love it. Uh, we will do this again next week, and like I mentioned, maybe we'll do uh, two a weeks where we do triage one day full of triage and then the other day of the status meetings. Um, until then, I'll see you guys around on Wix Devs. Thanks again.